Hello, everyone. Good evening to you. Thank you for joining us. So before we start, did you know, I have a question, did you know that every year in the United States, millions of dollars, millions of dollars goes unused for international students. So that scholarship money funding goes unused every year. Did you know that? And the reason is international students, not only international students, but also American students, they just don't have the information and they don't know how to apply. So there's lots of money out there um, and it's there for you. Um, but this session will help you if you have some worries about money. Um, I'm gonna ask you tonight that, I'm gonna tell you tonight that it's okay to worry, but you should take action. So today I want to welcome you. I'm gonna give you some funding steps that you can start today. Um, things that you can actually do tonight um, at your computer or tomorrow if you want to start tomorrow. But I'm going to give you things you can actually do. So today I will teach you how to look up uh, to how to search school websites like a pro, how to find money, how to find funding. I will teach you some resources that you can use to find funding, um, some websites and different resources. I'll tell you how you can make a plan. And if you can make a plan, this is something that a lot of even American students don't do. Um, so I'll tell you how to make a plan to find money. And I'll tell you about one sort of secret source, one hot tip on how you can save money and get a great US education. And I'll save that hot tip for the end. Also, I have one question. So let's just see if you can guess. You will see some examples in this presentation. See if you can guess who helped me build this presentation, right? So was it an Education USA advisor? Was it a teacher? Was it a professor? But uh, you can see the example. So who helped me try to think about it? Um, so when we talk about funding, scholarships, financial aid, um, there's lots of things to know. Uh, here are some of the basics, and I won't be talking about these too much because these are things that you can find out from Education USA. Um, but for example, good grades and good writing skills can help you get scholarships, um, obviously. So I won't talk too much about that. Um, having activities, work experience, different types of experiences can help. Um, whenever you look for scholarships and look for funding, of course, read the information carefully. I won't talk about that because you should read the information carefully. Um, you should try to set a budget and also think about cost of living. For example, living in New York can be expensive. Living in other places can be less expensive. Um, and also the last sort of basic thing is apply. If you don't fill out the application, if you don't try to apply, you cannot get the money. So I, I can really only make two promises. <laughs> One is if you don't apply, you cannot go and you cannot get money. Um, again, millions of dollars of, of money is out there, but you must fill out the application. So I tell students, if you are eligible, if this scholarship is okay for you, apply. Um, apply. If you have time, you can fill out an application, do it. Um, the, the big promise I can make you is if you don't apply, you won't get it. Um, so really, a lot of students miss money opportunities because they don't apply. So these are basic things, and definitely talk to Education USA about these types of things. Try to get more information from them. Um, the Education USA talks about the five steps to US study, and they're here. Um, the first step is researching your options. So that means finding a school that's good for you, finding a college or university that's good for you. Um, the second step is financing your studies. The third step is the college application. So why is the application after the funding. Um, the reason is sometimes the college application deadline is, uh, it, it can be uh, later than the funding. Sometimes the scholarship deadlines are before the, the college application or on the same day. So you may have a beautiful college or university application, but if you turn it in and you say, okay, now I will look for scholarships, it could be too late. So, um, look at these five steps, but as soon as you kind of think, okay, I want to go to this college, I want this university, start searching for scholarships and start searching for funding right away. 
Uh, don't wait till later. If you think I want to go here, I want to go here, like you have five schools, 10 schools, as soon as you have the list, start searching the website, don't wait. Um, the, the scholarships can be very, very early. Um, so one example is um, if you're looking at very, very competitive colleges, like the top, you know, we think the, the most competitive colleges in America, November 1st tends to be the, one of the deadlines, November or December. Some scholarships, the deadlines are in October. Right? So you really have to look early. Most students aren't even touching the application in October. So researching your options, thinking of the schools as early as you can is very important. So if you have a list of schools, start looking for money right now. Go to the websites and start looking. If you don't have a list of schools, start to build a list. You know, work with Education USA, work with your teachers, your parents, your counselors, and start to make a list. Um, and some of you, some of you may not know where you want to go because we have many, many universities and colleges in the USA. Some of you may think, um, where I go is not important. I want to go to a place that is affordable. I want to go to a place that is not too expensive. And that's okay too. Um, but narrowing your list down can be, will help you a lot. Um, in the USA, we have around 4,700 colleges and universities. Um, that list is very big. So make the list smaller. So I'll be talking more about step two. Uh, financing your studies. And today I will give you five steps that every student should follow. So if you're undergrad, you're going to, you're a high school student going to college. If you're a graduate student, doesn't really matter. These are five things every student should do. The first one is the most obvious one. Check the school website. Um, if, you, if you want to go to this university, check the university website. Um, it seems simple. But when you check the website, um, there's sometimes a search box or you can find links. Um, every website in the USA is different. Um, just like in Korea, every college website and university website is different. Um, so you have to search. And sometimes they put funding. Sometimes schools say scholarships. Uh, in some schools, scholarships is not for international students. Sometimes it's only for uh, American students. It depends. Financial aid, sometimes for international, sometimes for American only. You have to check. Some schools have a link and it says how to pay. Um, and in some schools, they have something called tuition waivers. So if there's a, a public university, for example, University of something, something, University of Hawaii, a public institution sometimes has tuition waivers. And that means that you can pay the same tuition as American students from that state. Um, so in-state tuition or tuition waivers, um, I won't talk too much about it, but check with Education USA. Um, but in some schools, if you have good grades, you can pay the same amount as money, of money as the American students. And that can be really, really um, a lot of saved money. Um, it can save you a lot of money. When you search the school website, you want to look for two things. Number one, look for funding, scholarships, everything from the school, and look for funding and scholarships, everything from outside of the school. So a, a real, any good US college or university will have this on the website. So it will say, our school has this money, and then here are other scholarships, here's other funding. Um, it's not always easy to find, but you should be able to find it. Uh, so here's one example. This is a scholarship page from a US website. And if you look here, it has scholarships from the university and scholarships from outside of the university. And then when you click the links, there's gonna be more information there. So again, from the university, from outside the university. Um, here's another example. So these are scholarships from the university, scholarships from outside the university. It's a different school. So every website should have this kind of information for you. Here's another example. So these are a list of scholarships. So this is the information page for scholarships. And if you look here, this is pretty interesting. $47 million of scholarships um, are given from the university to students every year. Um, so we, that's pretty cool. That's a lot of money. 
Um, but if you're on this website and then you click further, um, there's financial aid. So there's more information about funding there. So there's lots of links that you have to go through. Every site is different. So make sure you have time to, you make time to find the information. And on this webpage, there is a link and it says other sources of funding. And when you click that, more scholarships from outside the university. So that's the first sort of hot tip. When you do a search on the college website, look for uh, scholarships and funding from the school and then also from outside the school. Um, definitely look for all of those things. And then, um, and this website is interesting. When you click it, it actually gives you even more links to find scholarships. So every school, um, American schools really do take care of students and they know that not every student has money. Um, so they really do try to find ways to, um, to help students fund uh, your education. Um, I'm gonna give you one quick hot tip. Even if you don't need money, apply for scholarships. So even if you don't need it, and why? Um, because later you might apply for graduate school, you might apply for a job, you might apply for a student job and having a scholarship is it's honor it's prestigious and when you fill out an application you can say i i got three scholarships right so it shows that you did work so even if you don't need money you can get a scholarship uh trust me there are millionaires that get scholarships and they get financial aid um so even if you don't need money um you can still look for for uh for funding so remember, searching takes time. Um, I'm very good at this. I'm very good at finding scholarships. It can take me 10 to 15 minutes, maybe even 30 minutes to find the right links. And then it takes even more time to read. So if you think about that, 10 schools, uh, it could take me five hours to find the, the, the links and then you have to click and read. So you really do have to schedule time to search. It's not instant, it takes time to find. Um, but those are two hot tips from the university or college and then from outside. Um, and then as you search, uh, save your information. You can make an Excel spreadsheet. You can use a Word document or notes, but save your links. Okay, save the links. And that's very important for step number two. So as you search the schools, save the links and then keep it in one place. The second step is, again, kind of easy ask. This is one step that most students and especially most international students don't take. So just ask the school if they has, have scholarships. Um, students are afraid to ask, <laughs> but why should you ask? Why should you ask the question? Number one, the website could be wrong because people have to update. Humans update the website, so it could be wrong. Maybe it's not updated. Maybe there's new information. Sometimes, and we've heard this, I, I've heard this from schools, sometimes the colleges or universities say, uh, we want students to ask us. If they ask us, we'll send them more information. So it's sometimes it's just not on the website. And sometimes um, they will send you a PDF or they'll send you more links. Um, so it's, it's important to ask. So when I've done this with students, when I was an advisor, um, sometimes they sent us a PDF and it had 25 pages of scholarships. They, they weren't all good for every student, but they said, we want to help, so they sent lists. Some students think if I ask, I'll get rejected. It's not true. They can't do that. <laughs> so it's always safe to ask. So how do you ask? Write a simple email. You can introduce yourself, um, say you're interested in the school, um, and say you want some more funding information. Um, and then the step number four, tell them what you already found. I said in step number one to save it, right? Save your information. So you want to tell them, I already found some information. Uh, and why do you do that? Because if you say, can, do you have any scholarships or funding? They will send you the same information you already found. So you want to say, do you have more? So I found this. And so the schools really like that. They say, wow, this student did research. Okay, and they'll, you know, sometimes they'll check the information and send you more. So a very simple example. Um, to whom it may concern, my name is Vincent Flores. I'm a senior at Seoul something something high school, or I live in Pohang. 
Um, Korea, I'm very interested in your university. I would like more information on funding and scholarships. Um, I've done some research and I found, and you paste some links, um, put the links that you found. Um, do you have any more information? Is there any other information you can share? This is something very simple. And again, I will have an example of this on the, the sheet that I share. I can see some of you taking pictures with your phones. Don't worry, we'll send it to you. Um, so again, this is something that you could do tonight. Even if you're not applying to study in the United States for two or three years, you could write the email tonight and save it. Um, you could write the email tonight and start looking and then fill out the email later. Um, this is something, uh, one of the hot tips for being a good, uh, having a good application to the United States is just saving time. So if you're not doing anything, you have 10, 15 minutes, write an email right now and save it for later. Um, then when you apply, you're not rushing for all of this. Um, you can ask the question right now. You could ask the question in August or September, but you could write the email today. Step number three, step that everyone should do, look locally. So in this case, look here in Korea for scholarships that, there, that, that might be out there. Uh, and there's, pro there's more than you might think. So where to check? Uh, the government, your local, your city government, your provincial government, the national government may have scholarships for students to study in the USA. Um, I have seen students go to churches and find scholarships. And it's not, not, always, not always a lot of money, um, but you know, maybe a few hundred dollars um, uh, here and there. Um, I've seen students go to banks, to the mayor's office, uh, to newspapers. Um, the, 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 the funny thing I've seen when I work with students, the students who need the most money work the hardest to find the money and they always get the most money. Um, and then the students who have a lot of money say, oh, I didn't get a scholarship. And I said, look, why, did, why, didn't, why do you think you should get a scholarship? You didn't work hard. You didn't look. And then, so another student walks into the bank and he says, I, you know, do you have something for me? Um, so look around, you know, uh, here I put your parents university or an alum, uh, alumni association that's a, like Tongmunhue or something. Um, there could be some clubs, organizations. Um, uh, there's also here in Korea, we have Fulbright and some other organizations. Definitely look in Korea because there are scholarships here. Uh, for example, just a couple of days ago, our Education USA advisors put scholarships on our website. Um, and these are all for Korean students. Um, and then if you look around, you can find these um, in, in different places too. So look around for scholarships. There are, actually are more. Uh, one other thing you can do is if you know what state or what city you want to study in, you might check in that local community in America um, if they have scholarships there. Um, every community that has Korean students or Korean people. Sometimes they have an organization for Korean students and they support them. Right, so that was step number three was searching um, locally. And this step, search on scholarship websites. Um, and there's a lot of these, there's way too many websites, um, but I'll show you a just a couple of them. So for example, um, there's educationusa.state.gov. That's our home website. Um, has some scholarships from U.S. institutions. We put a few scholarships from here in Korea. IEFA.org, I'll show you these. Um, and there are many, many others. Uh, when we send you that form, we'll give you a few more examples of scholarship websites. But again, if you do that first step and you check college websites, they often have many, many lists of, of uh, scholarship websites. Um, all of the websites I have for finding scholarships are from college websites. So here's some, an example. This is our educationusa.state.gov website. Um, if you go all the way to the bottom, it says find, an, uh, find fi financial aid. There's a link all the way at the bottom of our website. And then you choose South Korea. And then you can find the same scholarships I just showed you. Uh, on the same website, you could search by state, you could search um, by bachelor's degree or master's degree or, um, or other searches and you can find scholarships. So that's our website. 
which is free, by the way, our website is free. Um, and then IEFA.org, this is another one that students use. And it's pretty simple. You say um, where you want to study, where you're from, and what you want to study. Um, and I encourage you, when you use these websites, try different searches. So maybe business, business management, sometimes don't put a major and see what happens. But it's a very simple search. And here's an example. Um, so for example, here is a $10,000 scholarship, and this is from IEFA.org. Um, this one is for music in particular. And then another example, uh, to, here's a, another one for business. All right, so um, again, I asked that question. If you wanna take a guess, who helped me find this information? Does anyone have a guess? We see them in the chat box. Just take a moment, like who helped me find all this information? Um, so think about who helped me find uh, those examples. Uh, but my last step for you, the fifth one, is to ask Education USA. Uh, we can't point you to every scholarship. We can't, there's too many scholarships and too many schools, but um, Education USA can help you learn about the application process. If you have a strong application, you have a better chance of getting a scholarship. Uh, we have a lot of webinars, we have a lot of videos and online events, and you can get more information. We have hot tips, we've got the website, the Instagram and social media. Um, and we do, almost every day we're receiving information about scholarships. We don't have enough, um, we, we can't send you every single scholarship information we get, but we do try to share whatever we can. So um, check our, especially the Facebook and Instagram and other places, we post the scholarships as much as we can. Um, but check the website, check with us, and uh, definitely use the tips. So those examples that I showed you, um, two high school students found those examples. Uh, and it was just yesterday. So if you think it's difficult to find information about scholarships, I introduced two high school students yesterday, um, a couple of these steps. And I asked them, find, find scholarships on a school website. And I said, find scholarships using a scholarship database, a scholarship website. And I was with them for three hours. We were working virtually and they found information. So if two high school students can find the information, um, any of you can. Um, it does take time. But if two high school students can find really good ones um, in just a couple of hours, um, anyone can. All right, so I gave you a lot of information. So I'm gonna give you a way to start because I there's a lot, so many schools, so many scholarships. So this is how you can get started. Uh, number one, make a plan. Um, you have to have a plan. You can't just search anytime here and there. Um, don't find time, make time. And, and what does that mean? Um, I use this example a lot. If, if you want to watch a movie, um, so for you, maybe high school or college students out there, if you want to watch a movie, um, you are going to research it, right? You're gonna sit down and check the websites. You're gonna go to CGV or you're gonna go to Lotte Cinema and search and you're gonna look for the best time. And then you're gonna make a schedule and then you're gonna call your friends. And then you're gonna say, okay, from for two hours, five o'clock to six o'clock, um, you know, if, if my mom calls me, I won't answer the phone because I'm at the movies. <laughs> and then you probably get dinner and then you have to take the bus. So you, that's, you know, maybe five hours of time. So if watching a movie is that important to you, searching for funding for your US education should also be important to you. So just like you make time for a movie, make time to search for scholarships and funding. So you should say, okay, on Saturday from three o'clock to five o'clock, I will search for scholarships. Don't change the schedule just like a movie. If a movie is important, your education is important. So you must make the time. Put like right now, you could put it on your calendar right now. I will look for scholarships. I won't check Facebook. I won't check Instagram. My, my, my mom can't talk to me. My dog can't talk to me. My friends can't talk to me. No, no kato. I will look for scholarships. It has to be important. Make time. Uh, again, uh, after you make time, 
check school websites first. Most of the scholarships, the biggest scholarships will come directly from the school. Um, so definitely do spend a lot of time on the school website and make a list of the links. So if you're looking at three schools, make an Excel sheet or make a, a file and then save the information by school name and, and uh, use it for later. Um, and also make a short list of your schools. If you don't know where you're going yet, that's okay, but it's better to have, it's easier to search five or 10 schools than it is to search 20 or 30 schools. So cut your list the best you can um, and then start searching. Um, so let me go back and then I'm gonna add one more to this that's very easy, write the email. Um, write the email about asking for scholarships. You could do that tonight. Um, just write it and save it. So make some time, search the school websites. It's not hard to do. Um, I think about one hour per school is, is average. So I think searching on a, searching for the links, going into the links, clicking them, reading the information carefully, that's about average for me. So if you're looking at 10 schools, that's 10 hours. So you really have to plan and then uh, write out a schedule and uh, write the email too, if you can. And that hot tip, that secret tip that I talked to you about in the beginning, so there is a way in the United States that you can save money, have a very, very easy application process. You can spend two years in one place and transfer to a four-year school and they offer a great environment. And then you can, uh, they have a high rate of success. Does anyone know what that is? Can anyone guess? I feel like some people maybe know what this is. So the hot tip is, if you've not heard of it, a community college. Uh, and I'll talk briefly about this, but definitely talk to Education USA about it if you haven't heard, and I'm sure we will have some sessions and information. But a community college, um, almost 50% of American students start at a community college. A community college has two years, your first two years of your four-year education. So you start at a community college, you go there for two years, and you can transfer very easily to a four-year institution. And you can transfer to, to fantastic universities. So getting into a community college is very, very easy. Uh, community colleges are very inexpensive. The applic application requirements are very few. Um, so you usually don't need an SAT or ACT. Um, you might need English scores, but sometimes you don't need English or TOEFL. Um, if you're stressed about the college application, you, you really don't have to stress about a community college application. Literally, it could be just a few pages. Um, and then one thing about community colleges is there's a very, very high success rate. Um, we see that students that start at a four-year institution and students that start at a community college, we often see community college students doing better. And, and why? Because community colleges prepare you. Um, it's a, they, they really focus on building students. So um, ask Education USA about community colleges. Um, it's a good choice for anyone, no matter how good your grades are. I, I highly recommend you put a community college, um, maybe as a safety or as an option. Um, I think community colleges are especially good if, if you don't really know exactly where you want to go, but you think, I want to go to America, I want to study in America, um, and money is an issue, like I, I, funding is important, um, but I'm not too concerned about where. You just really want to go to America, community college is a really great choice. Um, and again, Education USA can give you more information about community colleges. Um, so with that, I'm going to stop talking and save the rest of the time for questions. I hope that was helpful for you. Mm -hmm.